Yo, what's going on guys? Gripper back here with another video today guys and today we're going to be going over what you need to know for 2022 Top Series 1. So let's get into it. But before that, as you guys know, over the last couple of days I've been promoting this giveaway. So I'm giving away a Shohei Otani rookie card from 2018 update. If you look at the card, it's probably a 9.5, maybe a gem mint 10. So I touched this card once to put it in the top loader in the sleeve and that is it. So all you guys have to do is be subscribed, like this video, and comment your active, your favorite active player in the MLB currently. So, in this video, we're going to be opening two hobby packs, a uh, hanger of heritage I've been storing, and a fat pack of series one I've been storing. So, I could honestly sell these for like double the price now, but who cares? I mean, I'm not one of those idiots who makes profit. So, anyways, um, if I sell things, it's like things like this, like and. An Acuna gold numbered to 2018. Like, things like that. And, like, this uh, platinum or whatever, Adele numbered to, uh, what is it, 70. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, what you need to know for beginners. So, I'm assuming most of you guys are clicking on this video to find out some, uh, we're going to open this first, some valid information. So, what you need to know is the hobby releases next week, February 16th. So, this video is going to go live on a Tuesday. So, that means we are eight days away at this point. So, uh, it releases Wednesday, February 16th, right? Hobby boxes go for $135, and then, the, and then Jumbo go for $214, according to Steel City. Now, you could actually probably... Here's a good one. You could actually find those cheaper, actually. Uh, I'm not going to keep it... At, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. You can find those cheaper. But, uh, you know, go to your LCS and see what they have them... Uh, see what they have them for sale as, you know? I get mine for about $110 ish I don't buy Jumbo. I just buy regular... So I get my hobby packs or boxes at my local LCS, which is just diamond in the rough. I might make a video about that uh, next week when I go to get the Series 1. So there are 330 cards per set. Uh, as usual, Topps always usually does Series 1 and 2. I think 330, and then um, Update is just 300. Oh, my fault. So... Um, in, the, in the checklist, you know, there's uh, rookies and stars and... Um, some short prints of Hall of Famers and Legends, but very few. Uh, this pack sucked. Holy crap. That pack sucked. Before we move on, I want to see something real quick. Because this caught my eye. I think they used the same Jared Kelenic picture for both these cards. I think they did. Did they? They did not. Okay. I was just tripping. At first glance, it looks like it, but it wasn't. So, um, there's 330 cards per set, like I've said. Topps usually does this for Series 1 and 2. An update is 300 for some reason, because, you know, they just do, like, all-star game cards and update uh, rookie debuts and things like that. So, honestly, the, the checklist is kind of weak. Um, we're going to open this. The checklist is kind of weak. I'm not going to lie. I made a video about this as well last week. Uh, I think it's called the Series 1 Checklist is Out and I'm Disappointed. Well, a lot of other collectors are disappointed. I thought I was kind of overreacting, but turns out I wasn't. Because a lot of other collectors I watch videos on and, you know, watch, they all say the same thing. They say Wander's going to carry the set, which is which is probably true. Wander Franco is literally going to be the only thing that carries a set. And if somehow Wander Franco doesn't exceed expectations, this set's going to suck. I'm just saying, down the line, if Wander Franco isn't who we think he's going to be, which he's going to be who we think, but let's say he isn't, um, then this Series 1 is going to be an absolute flop. Because there's no... I, I would like to say there's no rookie that comes even close to Wander Franco's rookie card. Like, there's like 40 rookies in the set, and there's not even a close second. There's not a, there's not a close second I can think of off the top of my head right now. Who would uh, come close to it? Maybe Brandon Marsh, maybe maybe Videl Bruhan, uh, but you know I I don't think anyone will come close. So here we go. Here we got the uh, regular Heritage. Just saying that this is not Heritage update. This is a Heritage, just normal. I got this from Target like in March of last year, so don't expect to see like uh, Kellogg or anyone like that. So then we're gonna go talk about the retail version. So the retail version. That's a good one right there. 
The retail version of Series 1 actually don't come out till March 9th. So if you go looking at your Walmart or Target for Series 1 on release day next week, you're not going to find it. Um, now, depending on when your guy or girl, whoever it may be, stocks the cards, they may arrive sooner or later than March 9th. So March 9th is the official release date, according to Steel City, anyways, of the um let's go card of the retail version so you know retail is um fat packs hanger boxes and blaster boxes and mega boxes but the mega boxes are not actually going to be in series one so mega boxes uh they did this last year too so mega boxes are typically well they're, they're they both have their certain things so like walmart has a mini or a, a mega box and then target has a mega box target mega boxes are usually better because they give you more cards but Walmart's mega boxes give you like five exclusive blue shimmer parallels or whatever. So that's my next point I'm going to be making here is there are exclusive parallels at retail. So you might, you guys probably already knew that. So like, here we go. Perfect example. I can already tell you where I got this pack. Got it at Walmart. You know why? Royal blue, Royal blue base parallel cards. That's how you know. Target, I believe... They do tribute cards, I believe. So this year, I, I don't know who it's going to be because they haven't said anything about it. I, it wasn't in the checklist because I would have I would have noticed. But typically what Target does, this is the last pack of the video, is they do a tribute set to some active player in the league. Last year it was Juan Soto. So I don't know who it's going to be this year. Maybe Shohei, but they did that in like 2019, so I doubt it. So that's all you need to know about Top Series 1, guys. And let's, uh, it's a cool card. It's uh, basically just, you know, pandemic stuff. But we're just going to go through these real quickly here. Uh, I'm looking for the key rookies. But that's all you need to know, guys, about Series. I think we have a gold coming up. Or we could have a tribute card. Walmart could have tribute cards as well. I I, I don't know, but we'll find out. And let me know. Here's an Alec Bone. Let me know in the comment section how much Series 1 you're going to buy. I've I've asked this uh, multiple times. Okay, we have a Jorge Soler home run derby. Uh, well, that's that's completely useless now. Oh, yeah, another question. The tops. Because I know these are in Series 1 uh, this upcoming year. So, the tops. What's going to happen if these cards become useless? Like, honestly, honest question here. If there's no season, which... There's a chance there couldn't be. What happens to these home run derby cards? Just, just curious, tops. If uh, I know that's not going to be answered, so, so there's our royal blue. We got one. Oh, jeez, I forgot how bad this was. They typically give you like three. Jeez, they only give you one. That uh, that rose is actually kind of cool considering he's you know the the blue and the blue matches. So, but here's another good card here, Dylan Carlson, uh, rookie, uh, fifty-two buyback. So we got some good rookies. I'm not going to Joey Bart. Do another Dylan Carlson. So this is actually a good fat pack, actually. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to flip these up. One pet peeve I have about baseball cards is they always go every which way. It just There's never just one way. They're always all flipped upside down and turned around and everything like that. So, guys, that is all you need to know. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope someone learned something in this video. And stay tuned on the channel because we're going to be giving this away this week. And we're also going to be ripping open Series 1 next week on release day. I plan on buying three hobby boxes. I might do a break. I don't know yet. Don't quote me on it. But if I get enough spots, which here's what, here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to do random divisions, okay? So six people. If six people watch this video and want to enter a break, comment in the comment section because... I, I want to make sure I get enough people before I buy another hobby box. So that way, you know, I know I'm going to fill the break up in time. So that being said, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.